Well, there's nothing like shopping, starting to shop the last day before Christmas, but it's something that I, it's something that I do every year. I literally wait until Christmas Eve to go shopping. But, you know, I guess it's just something that I like doing. So I think I'm all finished up now. I think I'm gonna head over. I, I've been wanting to paint something for the last two days. I haven't really painted anything. So I was thinking like something, I wanted to paint something like with mist in it, like a misty background or something. So I think uh, I'm gonna head over there, maybe ride the one wheel a little bit. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go paint something now that it's a little celebration for Christmas shopping done. That's my Christmas shopping. And I'll tell you, if it was just up to me to Christmas shop, phew, I would ruin the holiday every single year. Definitely, 100%. All right, so I wanted to do something real quickly. I don't think this will be a full video, but I wanted to make something that resembled a forest, possibly, maybe like a like a misty, I don't know, like a, maybe like a little bit of a misty forest. So, I don't know, in a good mood, just uh, getting ready for Christmas Eve dinner with my family. So a lot of good stuff, a lot of good stuff here. All right, let's see here. So I coated this with some uh, some gel and a little bit of white, and I, and I kind of wiped it off with a paper towel after the fact. So the first thing I want to do, I think, is let me get me uh, a little bit of blue and black, and maybe a little bit of red. I wanted like a like a blue gray color. So I'm going to use blue, black, a little bit of red, and I'm going to actually take some white. Blue, black, red, and white. I'm actually going to wipe it off on this paper towel right here. Yeah. And I'm just going to work some of this color around here on the canvas. I'm going to leave a little little white area here, maybe in the center. And like I said, this probably won't be a full full picture, but it was something that I've been wanting to do just to make like something misty. Let's see, I'm gonna draw a line right about here maybe, something like that. All right. And I'm just I'm just twirling this on. I can I'll blend it out just to make it look a little bit softer. I don't want it to look too soft because I don't know, it could resemble like little leaves and just little shapes and designs after the fact. Alright, let's see what we got here. Alright, let me set that down. I'm just gonna grab me another one inch brush, I suppose. And I'm going to come right in here. And you guys, you might not even be able to see that color, this color too good. I'm not sure. I'm just going to work this together. This is a very, very light grade blue color. Okay. Let me set that down. Step back. Okay, that looks good so far. Looks good so far. All right, so now I am going to take that same color and I'm gonna darken it just a little bit. So I'm gonna add, I'm gonna put a little bit more blue and a little bit more black in it. Just little, little tiny bits. A little bit more blue, a little bit more black. All right, let's see how this shows up because I wanna 
I just want to make some stuff in the background. You know, this is just little shapes of little different things and trees. Um, light taps, very light taps. And different directions. Maybe some stuff there like this, like that. Okay, I'm actually going to wipe a little bit of this off. Just a little bit. Wipe it off on the paper towel. And I'm going to do these little circles and just soften it up just a little bit. It'll, it'll push it back a little bit further too. It won't have like that texture look to it. Now I don't know if I've ever really done this before. But it's been something that I've been wanting to do. Let right, me just soften that up a little bit. All right, a little hair on there. Let me shaving from a paper towel. All right, all right. Okay. All right, now, let me set this guy down here. And I'm going to grab... I'm going to grab a fan brush, okay? And I'm going to put in a couple... I want to put some tall, like, tall trees in. All right, so I'm going to use the same color that we've been using. I'm going to put a touch, uh, the lightest touch that was probably too much, of brown. All right, a little bit of brown, a little bit more blue and white. So ultimately, it's the same color with a tiny bit of brown in it. Okay, it's like a very, very bluish, bluish brown. Okay, now I'm just using the fan brush. I want to see how this works. I might end up, I might have to switch to a filbert. We'll see. Okay, that's too dark. All right, so I'm going to scoop a pile of white here. Scooping a pile of white. Let me go right back up here. Okay. There's something there. Drop a few little guys back here, maybe. I'm just putting the indication of like, you know, distant trees, big tall ones. Something like this. All right. Now, let's see here. I'm actually going to go up and down real quick and maybe some circles. Now there wasn't much paint on the fan brush at all. All right, I'm just getting these trees where I want them, just kind of blended out the bottom because I didn't want it to come all the way down like that. All right. Okay, I just want it to look like, you know, something distant. These are just the, the tree trunk things happening here, all right? Okay, more white. I'm going to add more white this time. I want to get my main ones in for back here. So I want one here. There's going to be one there. Uh, let's bring him, let's give him one right there too. All right, and then, boom, right here. A little bit further down. All right, make him a little bit fatter. All right, then we do have this one here right next to it. Um, let me bring one right in front of that, just like this. Give him a few little branches, stuff like that. And I'm going to bring one right there, sort of off like that. Okay, back to this brush here. And I'm just kind of, like I said, I'm just whoop, going up and down. Not too much. I'm not using a lot of pressure while I'm doing this. All this is doing is it's just it's softening, softening it up. That's it. And I'm just trying to get my my perspective laid out here. All right. So I still have the fan brush here. Okay. So I didn't do anything to it. I'm just kind of wiping, wiping some of the paint off. And let me see if this works. I just want to get some kind of leaves, okay? 
So I can do little circles and then tap the edges. See? Skip a spot, turn it in all different directions. All right. And the more directions that you turn this thing in, the more natural it's going to look and feel. And I do like a little little circle motions over top of the trunk. It like gets rid of a portion of the trunk. It makes it just makes it look more realistic. Because if there's leaves going in front of the trunk, you know, it's going to cover some of it up. All right. Over to here, some more circles. Now I'm being a little rough with this because there's not there's really no paint on here. Just whatever was left from the color that I wiped out. All right, let me step back and take a look. All right. Okay, now I'm going to just go right back into our blue and our brown color and I want to kind of just get an idea of where the ground is here. So maybe there's a trail, okay, it comes this way, it comes right around like this, okay, that's, that's a pretty big path. So maybe we can change it up just a little bit. All right, just, a, just an idea of where, where we're going. Wraps right around like this. Maybe we'll shrink that up a little bit. Yeah, probably. Probably. Okay. So now, let me swirl some of this color in. I haven't done anything except for whatever. I've dipped in a little bit of our blue brownie color to make these lines. Now I'm just going to twirl it up. You can push, twirl, whatever. I just want to make it look like some bushes or something. I don't know twirling really hard. I'm actually getting rid of that line that we just put in. Okay. And let me step back and take a look at this. All right. So it sort of looks a little misty. Okay. Which is, which is cool, which is what I was looking for. All right. Now I wanted to do just something basic. Okay. Nothing very complicated or very hard. All right. So now we're going to start moving forward here. A little bit all right so we're going to put a few trees in the front i just wanted to establish our back area okay so now i'm going to take uh, some i'm going to mix up some blue a little bit of green so blue black green blue black and green and uh, it's all being mixed into our um, color that we made originally or that the uh, bluish brown color I just want something a little bit darker. Okay, so I got some blue, black, and green on here. I'm just wiping it on this paper towel here. And let me see how this color looks. I want to bring it forward, just like this. I'm going to push, I'm making these little, little bush-like things. All right. All right. I'm pushing upwards. Blue, black, and green. And there's a little white in there just to lighten it up a hair, just so it's not that darkest, darkest color yet. All right, all right. Okay. All right, so we got that color in right there. <clears throat> all right, now, now let's put uh, da 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 da. Let's bring up a little, couple little bushes in here, maybe. Well, not bushes, but little, just something, just to extend this up a little bit. Maybe there's a baby pine tree right there. All right, he goes up like this. I'm making these evergreens backwards. I'm just kind of pulling them up. <laughs> okay, um, I haven't used anything but the fan brush as far as for the bushes and everything. Now we're going to put a tree here. So let me get some brown. Some brown, a little bit of blue. 
and a little bit of white. Blue, brown, and white. I want the blue in there because the blue is going to, I think it's going to help maybe sell the effect that everything else is misty. So I'm going to, how do I want to do this? I want to run this guy right. Hmm. Decisions, decisions, right here. All right, more color. Okay, we got one there. Going back for another tree trunk right here. Right down, right in front of these bushes. That's why I put those bushes in first. All right. All right, so we got one there. Well, we got two, two there, losing my voice. And then we'll put one right here. This one stops behind the bush. I don't want them all to be like perfectly even, you know what I mean? Make it a little fatter on the top. All right, it goes right into there, just like that. And then maybe there's a little scraggler one that kind of goes like that. All right, so the background looks misty. <coughs> Perfect. Okay, now let's see here. I said simple, right? I said keep it simple. So let's go like this, give him a nice big, uh, you know, little trunk. A little shadow down here. All right, that one goes into there. All right, now, same fan brush. I'm going to take some, right, right on top of our color, I'm going to take some blue and some black and some green. Blue, black, and green. And this one, this color, ooh, more green. I just wanted like a dark green color. I wanted to bring it forward. because you know the closer that you come to you the darker it should be all right same thing over here right in front of this uh, right in front of the trees still using the same fan brush I'm just getting some more color just want to fill this in Once we fill it in, then we can just kind of do our thing. You can twirl it in or you can you can push. If you push like this, it'll make it a little bit easier to get like that textured, that textured look. All right. I'm just getting more paint every time I go down like that. And I'm putting black into this because I want it to be not so super vibrant. I want it to be, I want it to be a little bit like, you know, grayed or whatever, Look a little bit more earthy, I suppose. Because straight out of the tube kind of, you know, looks very, very vibrant, which is good for some situations. Some of my pictures that I do, I love them to be super vibrant. up a little bit, put a little couple things there. All right, let me just step back real quick <clears throat> and have a look here. Yeah, I think we're going to have a nice big old tree coming right into there, into the front. But before I do that, I'm going to get, let me get some, uh, some brown and some black. brown and some black and let me uh, see how this looks I'm not worried if I touch the uh, green area because I'll come right back and and put it right back in so I'm not not worried about it I start here because it'll be darker here because the paint is on the brush and then as you work back it'll get lighter and lighter and lighter which is good and you can even wipe off the the fan brush and use light pressure and go just like this. See? And it's alright to pick up some of that green because, you know, some of it might reflect. I'm just trying to get the color down first. I'm like real big on that. Get the color down. 
<laughs> get the color down and then you can work with it. Okay, so now is when I can go back to my dark color, see? And you could just go right into, let me get some black and green and a little touch of blue. <clears throat> you can go right into the little road area, see? Just like this. And it makes it look like everything's not, you know, perfectly perfect or whatever. It's like kind of like a forest. It, it's growing together. See? And I'm trying to fly through this a little bit because I just had, I just wanted to do the misty section on the top. That was just an idea that I wanted to do. So I'm not super uh, worried about all the little details here. I just wanted to try this. Right. Okay, there's that. Now I just got to fix one thing for perspective purposes. Right there. Okay. I'm just stepping back real quickly to see here. Uh, let me lighten up my color. Uh, because I want this here to be not so wide back here. See? So I'm just going to push upwards. I just added white to my color. It just looks like this old grown-in path, which is cool, which is what I wanted. All right, all right, all right. I'm not going to do any highlights just yet. Not yet. Let's put some uh, leaves on here. So for that, I'm going to take some green, some blue, white, and yellow. Green, blue, white, and yellow. These are a little closer. Let me see how this color looks. I'm just pushing with the fan brush. Yeah. I'm turning it and, and just doing all kinds of stuff here. I'm almost doing like a U-shaped turn. Let me get some more yellow in there. I'm going like, you know, I'm turning them like Hopefully you can see. Just trying to make some, you know, cool little textures and, and things like that. So I like smash the color in and then when I get to the edges, I do a light touch and I just kind of work it around. All right. Get some more of that green color down here. And obviously, you know, you might want to take your time and, and just do, spend some more time on this, which is totally cool. I'm just flying through it, flying through it. Just trying to get these nice light colors in the black, in the, in the background. Let me get some more yellow on here. Just like that. Get a nice little couple different tones. See, you can do that. You can take a little bit of a lighter color and it'll, it'll help you with <clears throat> not having just one old color. And like I said, you could spend so much more time on this. So much more. All right. While we have that yellow color going, let me add some white to that and a touch of green because I want to make it a little bit like a pale green-yellow color. Let's see how this looks. Pale yellow green, touch of black to dull it, just so it's not so vibrant. And then back here, maybe, maybe we could put in just some little highlights back here, because the sun or the light, the misty area, is in the center. Okay. All right, so it's you know a couple colors going on there. Right. And if you want, I wouldn't go too bright, but you can just take, uh, you could take some more yellow and let me do this yellow and white. You know, you could do this if you want to. You could just take a little bit of a brighter color and get it on there, you know, see? See that? It, it will help with the effect of 
you know, sunlight or, or whatever. See that? Put some back here maybe. You don't have to do that though, all right? All right, what are we doing next here? All right, oh, another thing. Listen, you could take some of your dark color, okay? Your green, your dark green, and a little bit of blue, and you can put some stuff, you know, darks in the front. Since the light is coming from the back area, you don't have to do this, but you can. It'll just kind of, you know, balance it and all that good stuff. A little bit of green here. Just think about maybe, you know, where the light wouldn't, would not hit. <clears throat> A few dark limbs here and there. All right. <clears throat> like I said, you don't have to do that. It, it kind of just makes it a little bit more of a backlit area. I'm just going to get some of that dark color and plant it right here. I see a little bit of canvas showing through. No problem. We can fix it. All right. All right, next. Next. Um, I'm going to put a huge tree right there, maybe one there. Before I do that, let me get some yellow and green. Yellow, green. I want to highlight some of these bushes. I I'm still using the fan brush. Still, a little yellow ochre. That would look nice, I think. So let's do this. Well, that's a pretty color more yellow, yellow ochre. I'm just putting a few little, see? Nice, nice. And I'm not over mixing it either, which is totally, totally great when you don't over mix it. See? Our light is in the front. See that? Don't over mix. Don't over mix. Okay. and leave a lot of dark. Okay. And I'm staying with the edge of my d original design that I put in design. It's not a, definitely not a design. I don't know why I said that. The, uh, the, the darker colors that I put in, I'm just sticking right to the edge. Get some more yellow, touch of red. Okay, let's go right here. It's going to get a little darker as it gets back here. All right, nice little, you know, clump of bushes there. I'm going to wipe the fan brush off, go back to more of the yellow, yellow ochre color. And then right about here, nice bright color here. And I'm about to add that tree in here in a second, so. where I'm going and see I'm just making little turns with the fan brush that's all I'm doing here little turns and I'm leaving a lot of dark all right it's gonna get darker back here steal some of this color you don't want it super bright the whole way through you want people to you want people to see the edge. That's where they're gonna look, right here. You wanna come right here, a little bit more. Let me get some more yellow, some nice, beautiful yellow, boom. See, that's where you want them to look, right there. Maybe a touch there too. Just on the edge, just think about the light coming in, see? going to get to that tree <clears throat> just a second let me close this in here maybe just a one more little highlight right there not too much a little yellow ochre in the front <clears throat> all right I'm stepping back I am stepping back all right all right yeah it looks misty back here so I'm going to kind of keep that okay all right so Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to 
putting that tree in, I'm going to take a little bit of highlight color and just kind of put some over here, just so I don't have to go around the tree. See, I'm just pushing, doing my same thing that I've been doing the whole time. I want the corners to be darker over here, not, not bright like this. All right, fan brush. Let me move this other one out of the way. All right, so now I have straight black and brown. 50-50 mix, black and brown. Black and brown on the fan brush. I got a lot of paint here. I don't want this to be like unpleasing. I want it to be something that's worth looking at. Right about to there, I would say. Maybe it'll come like this. No, it's gonna start right here. Don't think about it, just do it. Now I'm going to go back to my black and my brown, and I want this tree to be a little bit, a little bit fatter. So I'm going to make the other side here, just like this. And I keep reloading because I'm, I'm going to pick up some of this color underneath. All right, make the nice little trunk, the tree trunk right there. Okay. All right, now that's, uh, that's that right there, okay? I'm gonna wipe this off and I'm gonna go into pure black, straight up black. Whatever's on the brush is on there. And I'm gonna run down the back side of this. And I, I'm using a lot of black. I just want it to be dark because it's closer. See? All right? You can even hold the fan brush like this if you want, just so the paint comes off a little bit easier. All right, nice shadows down there. Okay, there's that. Now, wiping the fan brush again. Wiping it again. Wiping it again. Okay, now, time to go. I'm dipping right into the white. Now, this is gonna be like just an ugly, dirty brown color. All right. But there is some white on there, and I'm gonna hit light pressure at first. I just want to go right down whoop, the side, just like that. All right. Get some more paint here, and just make sure that I got the edge all nicely. Just like that. Now, I'm running out of paper towels. I'm going to wipe that off with, come back with the fan brush. Look at this. Watch this. I'm going to grab some of that white and just kind of pull it right across the tree just to break that line up and just kind of give the tree a little bit of, you know, shape or whatever. All right. And you can add some lines and stuff like this. This only takes a second to do. And it should help with, you know, shaping the tree. because you don't want to have any kind of like, you know, lo straight lines to where you can see where you added the highlight and stuff. So I, I always come back and give it these little slices and stuff like that, you see? And it looks like bark and different textures in the tree or whatever. Okay, wiping the fan brush off again. Now I'm gonna get a nice big pile of blue, black, and green, those three colors. It's a very just dark, dark color on the fan brush. All right, very dark color. And I want to come right in front, just like this, and just put a few of these little things here. And I keep, I'm going to have to keep reloading because if not, you're, it's going to mix if you don't do that. So you want to make sure to reload. Okay. Blue, black, and green. All right, and in my mind, there's going to be um, a branch right there. So I can automatically come in here because I know that. And I'm going to put a few little, you know, leaves and such right across the tree like this. Just like that. And then, same fan brush, didn't even clean it. I'm going to come right in here and just zip our branch in just like that. And that will actually help me. 
make it a little bit fatter into the tree. <clears throat> Wipe that back off, back into our dark greens and all that. All right. Put a nice little area like this. All right, something just like that right there. And then maybe, let me see here, let me see. I think we need one right here. Zoom. Another branch right there. All right, black, blue, green. All right, so we can have something here. show something going on back there you know and you can go over top of the trunk if you want a little bit like that go right up here with this actually just leave a little bit of sunlight showing through just like this all right and you could see I'm really just I'm just flying through this right now just flying through it. I wonder if, let me get some brown and black again. Brown and black. You know what? Might as well do it. I might as well do it, right? Let's just frame this thing in real quick. Pure brown and black. Just put a little one right there. And we'll give him a little branch. This way you can just easily put the, uh, you know, the leaves and stuff on him. All right. Back to the, the white color. It's just dirty, ugly brown or whatever it is. And we can come right on this side like this and just put a little highlight right there. Same thing. Wipe it off. <clears throat> Go back, give it a little pull, break it up, all that good stuff. See? Go a little there few little slices in them and you see I'm not even like cleaning the brush all right back to our green and our black and our blue green black and blue all right and this is you're a tongue tied <laughs> this is just going to frame this in that's all and this is the dark color all right put a little thing on there Something like that right there. Okay, so the background, it looks a little misty. What do you think so far? <laughs> Let me, I'm just wiping the, uh, the fan brush off here. Giving it a good wipe off. And then I'm going to go, I'm actually just going to go into yellow. I don't have much yellow left. But because of the dirty color on there, it, it should, you know, kind of change a little bit into like a, maybe a greenish color. And I, I just want to put, I'm actually pushing the paint on. And I just want to actually get a few little, just, you know, light areas or whatever. I wasn't really worried about this here, but I'm just going to do it since I'm right here. Just a little bit on these edges here. You know, this will help with, you know, a little bit of depth maybe. Maybe. Maybe, maybe not. <laughs> and like I said, you know, you can spend some time on this. I'm just flying through it. And I guess we'll put some here too. And I'm always turning the fan brush. I'm constantly turning it. 
And if you want, you can really get some texture by really pushing your fan brush, right? And then just go like this. If you want some light to be right here, maybe, maybe it's shining out like this. Get a lot of paint on there. This is the last, like I'm not going to be adding any paint on top of this, but if you want that light effect, you know, go right in here and just, just like this. See? Just get it in there. That'll help you determine where the light is. Now, yellow ochre, maybe. Mm. Let's see, how does that look? I guess a little doesn't hurt, right? <laughs> maybe some in here, too. Make a little branches that hang down. Those are always good to have. Like this. They drop right down just like that. And I guess I can do the same thing here, too. like something. Now we didn't put anything on this back one here, but I don't want that one to stick out too much, so so maybe we'll just add a little bit. I don't know. Experiment. See what you like. Get some more of that ochre in here. set that down real quick. Now, I want to do something. I want to do one thing. I'm going to grab a liner brush, get some thinner on it. with some nice brown color. And I do want to add a few branches in here because I, I haven't been doing that a lot lately. And I'm not sure why, but I want to do it today. Just add little branches, you know, maybe they go out like this. Here and there, you know, front, back, whatever. make them go across the tree or whatever. Branches definitely help. They just give like that, you know, that finished look you know, to them and they, they really do serve a very good purpose. I'm gonna bring one down like this, right in front of the tree. paint is super thin. It's very thin. And you could just make all kinds of stuff. All kinds. I'm going to put one more. I'm going to put one more thing right here. A big one, right? I'm rolling the fan, or the fan brush, uh, the liner brush. Rolling it. I want it to go right up like this. But don't be afraid to cross over the, uh, the tree trunk. See this here? Don't be afraid to go right in front of it. Look at this. Maybe that branch goes right down like this. You know, it crosses over. Don't be afraid to do, you know, to do something like that. It's it, in nature, you know, things like that, you know, things like that happen. All right, let me grab this fan brush again real quick and let me wipe it off real quick. And I just want to take some yellow ochre and some white on this dirty fan brush. A touch of brown maybe, just so it's not super, super bright. And I 
just want to think about, you know, light coming in here, just a little bit of light. You know, it's gonna, it's gonna hit off of the ground. You know, it's not gonna go all the way back, but it's, it's there, make it a little bit more white. Just for the sake of light. You could use the knife also. If you want to get really brave, you could uh, take a lot of white paint and just really kind of come back in here on you know the center. You know, something like that there. It just gives the idea of light. That's all it does. I don't want to do too much back here. Put a little indication back here. So that's where the mist is supposed to be. You're not really going to see too much detail back here like this. Something like that right there. Let me step back again and have a look at this. Oh, I have an idea. I have an idea. Yellow ochre. I have an idea. Let's see if it works. A lot of paint on the uh, the fan brush here. A little bit of yellow ochre on this tree. I felt like it would give it a good little touch, you know. there too. Something like that. Now if you think you did too much you can certainly just you know you can even take black or, or you know some blue if you want and just you know put a little blue in, on the other side or whatever and just kind of dull it down. I like designs on trees, like little imprints of, you know, like the fan brush or the filbert or whatever. There's so many different things that can make a tree look real, like this right here. You know, I'm going to just, just tap one time and then, you know, move on to the next to look like, I don't know, maybe a shadow or whatever. You know, trees grow differently. So, all right, let's see here. Let me... wipe this uh, fan brush off here. I did this, <laughs> I did this pole painting right here so far. I used this little tiny thing of paper towels. Look, see how it's all over my hand? So technically, I only used one paper towel if you look at it, because I had it, I had it in the roll. So keep that in mind. You guys can save a lot of paper towels by doing what I just did. Just, I would say wear a glove, just to be safe. Just to be safe, you know, and, and <clears throat> you know, you could continue with this. You can get some, uh, the liner brush, you can get some more, you know, thin it down, get a nice green color. I'll show you, get a little green color and, you know, add some, you know, grass and stuff like that. A little here maybe, you know, just little, little details like this. There's a lot that you can do. And the closer that you get to the front of the painting, the, you know, if you're making grass, it should be you know, taller, you know, and make sure that it's like different, uh, get some dark, dark colored, some light, you know, if it's in the light area, make sure the grass is a little lighter. It'll help sell the effect of sunlight shining on a certain area. You know, and then you could put, you can even put a few pieces in the road that'll just kind of help, you know, just kind of tie everything together. Just do this real quickly here, since I have the old liner brush out. Let me get a nice blue color, because blue is my color. I sign most of my paintings with blue.
and I constantly reload even when I'm signing a painting. It makes the process so much easier. And I know, <clears throat> I know somebody will yell at me for how big my signature is, but that's all right. Because I painted this picture for me. Well, tell me what you think. Does it look misty in the background? Time will tell what everybody thinks. <clears throat> I'm just going to zoom this camera out. Oh man, it's bright here. All right, so I like this remote. I like it. All right, so I'm not going to. I'm not going to really say much more. Um, I wasn't going to make a video, but I did. I hope you guys have. Seriously, I hope you guys have the best Christmas and the best New Year. I just want to say I love all you guys. I hope everybody is safe. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Please make sure to subscribe. And that's about it. So Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. God bless all you guys. Take care. I'll see you in the very next video.